Hey everyone and welcome back to part 7 of our Tunic playthrough. Last time we left things off in the Eastern Vault after we'd sort of prepared everything to uh, open this door at the top of the staircase. And now we're going to go on inside and see what um, what we come up against. I'm just going to equip this as I'm aware. got a uh, wizard over there who's going to be a right pain in the ass. Okay, dealing with that guy a little bit easier than before. Now we have ourselves a little prey. Back to the terrifying noise. And that's some extra creepy music to go with it. Gonna equip my wand, just generally prefer to have that out. Ah, we've got ourselves a little rest point here too. Um, bad things, stay out. Don't get killed. I'm going to choose to ignore that sign because I can't read it. Oh look, horrors beyond our comprehension. So I find one of the uh, best ways to try and navigate this fight is by running around like a lunatic until chance presents itself. Trying to get up his butt. See what happens if we run along this direction instead. I mean, I think we can. Oh no. Ah, oh, there we go. Some lasers being fired, that gives us a bit of a chance to close this gap here. Mess that up. laser but it presented us with a bit of an opportunity to get in there and beat the shit out of him. Can't see super well but well enough to be able to navigate around. Seem to be stuck under here a little bit which is um, well was semi beneficial you can see we took off oh I think we're no it's more lasers okay those. Oh, didn't mean to send it through that. I meant to, uh, there are an awful lot of them. Oh my goodness, that was uh, painful. Round behind here. Ow. There we go, finally a bit of uh, rest. Ah, 
And there's our opportunity we were waiting for. Goodness, that was um, dramatic. Ow. Oh, don't like to be this far away. Definitely don't like to be this far away. I'm going to pray that this uh, is going to be enough of a protection here. Oh, that was close. Is that enough? Not quite. Uh, let's see, we need to get in there. Oh dear. Oh, yep, that's going to be death. Ah. We were close. We were close on the first time. Got a little bit mixed up there. Um, I don't know if it's going to be better to go with the freezing thing. I feel like it's not going to... tell you what I should have done, really, is buy some of these upgrades, but hey-ho. Um, let's see. We'll stick with the wand. The wand is good. And I think we will go with the potion upgrade because that's going to be a very useful one. Found ourselves having to drink quite a few in order to get back up to full health, but hopefully that will um, fix things. Let's see what other ones we can get. So... Um, stamina again might be useful just shy of being able to have enough for stamina and HP but uh, I think stamina will take precedent there okay let's boogie Run around behind straight away. Wow, that was a laser quicker than I was expecting it. I thought that was a sort of phase two sort of thing. Ow. This guy must be so annoyed at us just trying to constantly get underneath him. chipping away. That was a nice little opening. Oh, goodness. 
Wakanda and got a couple more hits in. There we go, that would be a nice healthy amount of damage done. And that might might be enough. Oh, one hit left. Ow. Just need to get in a good enough position. One little tiny. Oh, maybe two little tiny somethings. little shot of a wand in the back. Probably should have used some dynamite in there at some point, but felt like it was all a bit too close quarters. Either way, we have triumphed and somehow avoided being crushed by all that debris. Okay, we do actually also have our ghost over here. I was sort of saving that for a special occasion. It does a little stun. Oh, hello there. Random fairy. Well, on we go. Back down these stairs, and I do believe we can now plonk what we just got into this hole. Didn't actually mean to parry then. Just looks like I'm being a bit antsy. Which I am. Now we take the first of the three crystals that we need. So next stop is back at the Ruined Atoll. I'm just going to check we've got a um, particular page just yet. So this is a hint here referring back to page 24 which you may remember was the pretty key one, we stupidly forgot where it was. The holding A for three seconds. So now we're going to show another little ability that's possible. And uh, you may have noticed all these statues here facing this, and uh, it certainly looks like they're doing something that requires holding down the A button for three seconds. So you can see we're now in a pretty mystical, magical place. There's a few different um, areas that are unlocked, like we, we can't actually do anything here, but if we go over to one of these ones, it does say we can press A on it, so we're going to have a little explore of these. So this is one terrible place, which um, I don't think we'll do anything here yet. Don't need to worry about that just yet. If curiosity gets the better of you in your playthrough, then by all means. You can see this is a very familiar place. Seem to be heading straight into a big old fight. Okay, but if you didn't notice where we were, we're right by this old house again. So you can see that acted as a teleporter between two very different places of the map. 
So let's see where else we've got to offer. There is a little sneaky one hidden back here. But right now, there is nothing we can do in this place. It's just a terrifying... I don't even know what, really. It's just terrifying. So we'll get ourselves out of there with a, a little prayer. You'll also notice the big staircase that was blocking our view, but that's the same one that we um, that we go up the first time we die and come to this captured fox lady. And you can see that there's a uh, set of upgrades about. These are the ones that we have unlocked, because if we uh, have a little look... Oh, it doesn't actually have any of our levels here, but if we, um, if we did have our levels there we'd be able to see that it matches up to the levels that we've currently got unlocked so it's a nice little tidbit there you know what screw it let's let's explore let's be curious can we actually do anything here right now okay well good Just a floating sword looking terrifying. Just wondering if this is very similar. So the blue sort of background here is uh, notable. Okay, so now we've had our little look at nothing that's there. Let's see where else we've got. You can see also there's a little page back here. Um, and actually, I believe if you look on the map, the main overworld one, you can see that question mark there was where we were by the old house. You can also see there's that same question mark over there. And there is another one back at the start of the game where we washed up on that beach. Um, where else have we had it? I think it doesn't really show up on here because it would be behind these doors. Um, I don't know if we've got one there. Ah oh, yes, we do have one there. And I believe that's the one we're about to step out of here. Yep. So we're over in the ruined atoll. However... There is that one in that starting area that we might go and fetch first. So just because there is a page there, we're going to go and see what that adds to the puzzle. Didn't mean to do that. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. It's okay. recklessly run past people. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I thought there was a uh, way across there, but it doesn't matter. We'll just go down here. I thought there was a way up here. Guess not. Just me being foolish. Funnily enough, you might have just seen that that guy used this secret little back passage in order to come up here. Uh, what's the route? There we go. Oh no, no, went the wrong way. It's that? Yes. Ow.
Not sure if this is a dynamitable door. Doesn't look like there's anything on the other side of it, but let's uh, give it a little. Oh, that wasn't. Yep, it was a dynamitable door. Oh, takes us into a little secret area. Well, nothing we can actually do in this area right now, so we're going to head back about our business. Cut down some bushes that have never been cut down before. We're only heading back to the starting area, so I don't actually need to go up and rest or anything to get back that one important dynamite. So now, if we have a little prey here, Ta-da! We're back in this area, but um, you can just sort of see it off the top left, the other part that we were just in. And a table of contents page, as well as the start of a story. So you can see all the maps have names, and there's also a lot of uh, details about what we'd find in the game manual as we get more pages. But there's nothing of too much importance in there right now, so we're going to head back to the Ruined Atoll. Which I now realise we probably could have um, done this journey a lot quicker if we'd just taken the portal at the old house. So that's what we're going to do this time. Ooh. Don't mind me. our little prey in before anyone else shows up. Perfect timing. He is probably very confused about where we've just gone, but um, I'm okay with it. Okay, now we are back at the Ruined Atoll. And courtesy of our previous adventures here, we are actually pretty well prepared to just go and do all of the um, all of the monoliths or whatever you want to call them statues in each corner they do have numbers on them but as far as I can remember it doesn't really matter what order you do them in either way we'll stick to the ordering he died a lot quicker than he would have before So that's uh, one done. We don't need to pay attention to that guy. Number two is the opposite corner. Well, not opposite, but uh, next one clockwise. We're now powerful enough to kill those in one shot, which is pretty handy. <clears throat> That's two down. Now I believe the third one is the opposite corner, and that is the correct one this time. So we'll go via the center because that also allows us to have a little look over here. You can see we've now got two statues that are activated. Uh, 
That's a much easier way to deal with them. And that's how we should have really dealt with them last time, but uh, you live, you learn. There's some rather large explosions. Penultimate one. Unfortunately, oops. fortunately, we finished our praying before they came and so rudely interrupted us. Probably easiest if we just head this way through. Oh, hello. Just wondering if. Uh, yeah, you do sort of have to get him with a dynamite. Probably could have gotten with one of these. Oh, I'm going to put my wand on. I feel like there's going to be another couple of annoying fairies that come out at us. There is the final one done. Oh, and just like magic, there are the fairies. They weren't overly effective this time though. love to not have to waste dynamite on you so I'm just going to walk around the other way. And now we have all four activated and if we uh, have a little look, I mean that doesn't really tell us anything. There's a funny little bird on there. Okay, so what did we have as our next hint? Yes, the four somethings. What did we, there was a page somewhere. I feel like it was early on that told us a bit more about something. Stolen to the top of the sky. Yeah, nothing much to tell us there. Okay, ruined atoll. Again, an indication of that sort of pad thing. I mean, I know what to do next. I'm just curious as to whether or not there is anything that um, I can see on here that tells us what to do next. I mean, to be fair, we'll use the same hint that we used on the last one. So, last area we were in, we saw an awful lot of, um, well, when we first discovered our powers of praying, we'll say, we were looking at a central area that had four statues surrounding it, all praying. So, um, and as if by magic, of course, what you're supposed to do is... Uh, not that. Step into the magical, wonderful, electric field. That is almost definitely terrifying. 
but nonetheless. It takes you where you need to go. Actually, let's go back here, have a little look at the telescope. Intimidating structure, as you can see. And you can also see it up here in the sky. And we're looking up at it from the shore. So yeah, um, and back to that earlier and back to that earlier referenced page. We'll just flip back there real quick. Stolen to the top of the sky. So we can assume that's where we are now, judging by all these clouds and whatnot. Very intimidating place, the Great Library. Ooh, hello, Mr. Um, table Robot. I mean, look, look, look how evil this guy looks. Like, yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah, a lovely, terrifying place for someone to live at the top of the sky. Little table robots there to um, serve us. Another one of these hero graves. Can we step from here to no? Okay, so up the other staircase. Don't think there's anything else in this room other than upwards. big circular room again lovely place to live if you um, like solitude and being an evil overlord or something I don't know giant lighthouse in the sky or library whatever it is mountains of books three pages The cathedral. Well, that's not where we are right now, so that's not a worry. Ah, and here you can see a bit more information on that lovely mystical place we were just in. You may have noticed the layout of this page is awful familiar. You've got um, these little pads noted elsewhere around. So you've got that one in the starting area, you've got this one here, which looks like it's uh, in a cathedral or something. Got the town ruins, the eastern vault, the west garden, the quarry, which we've not been to yet, and the ruined atoll. And then also this creepy one, which we don't know what the hell it is just yet. But nonetheless, that is a bit of information for us. The door in the mountains, and ah, a few um, hints about what these could be. Tincture. Oh, so tincture appears to be the one that we're wearing at the moment that uh, increases attack and decreases defense. Honestly, didn't have any idea about that. But um, I think we'll swap off of that and instead go for... Bracer? I feel like that seems to indicate that blocking reduces your stamina a little bit less. The other ones, there isn't much of a um, bit of information on it. That, no idea. But uh, either way, let's swap off of that onto... I mean, I suppose, to be fair, we've done quite well with the extra attack, but... Um, Maybe hasn't been too welcome, dying or being a bit more vulnerable. What was the other thing on that as well? Oh yeah, the door in the mountain. So we actually went up there a, uh, a little while back. Our fox seems pretty bored there. And there is the map to the quarry. Which we can see there's a couple of... Um, rest points and there's a teleporter there so that's where it will bring us into 
then monastery, which I guess, so yeah, we've got the swamp, old burial ground as well. Another resting place, I don't know, like a, okay, a few little bits around. Saw that candle somewhere else, where as well. Yeah, monastery there. Okay, so that seems to just be giving us maps to the next few areas. And if we... We'll give it a try, but you'll notice this doesn't look so it's got power from anything. But there is... Um, yeah, it just opens up but doesn't do anything. But there is... This up here. So somehow, whoever built this place or took it to the sky has found a way to um, make power from those monoliths. Also, this looks terrifying. Oh, there's a chest behind there. Good thing it is terrifying, otherwise we wouldn't have noticed that. Hey, another money bank. That really is quite a disturbing image on that chalkboard. The others, <laughs> that's a save file thing. I'm sure people have zoomed in on those dramatically and translated them all. And to be fair, if I could be bothered, I could as well, but... And to be fair, it's probably very interesting stuff on there. But um, for now, we can forget about that. We've already run quite a bit over. Um, so we're going to have a little rest over here. Do some final upgrades now that we've got a little bit of money. Or I say we've got a little bit of money. We're about to. It's another 512. So we'll get our HP improved. We'll, I guess, might as well get our MP improved. It will be useful to have more uses of those um, special abilities. There's literally a chest, two chests in the background there that I've just not opened. I can be really blind sometimes. There's another one over on the right. Useless. Absolutely useless. It's a nice amount of coins to get, though. Are there any more hidden back here? Nope. Okay, in which case we'll have ourselves a little rest and call it a day. We'll save any more exploration of this great library until next time. So that is everything for this time. If you've enjoyed watching, then please leave a like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.